Good morning. I think I'm a couple of minutes, one minute early, so I'll just wait for a minute um, before we get started with the content. Fix my hair. I don't know what's going on with my hair this week. <laughs> um, so this is um, about to be day three for our disciplined approach. So if anyone's online and got any questions, please uh, let me know. Um, so we're doing this for three days. Um, so yeah, welcome. Hi, Kate. <laughs> so it must be Sunday night for you, Kate. It's Monday morning here in Western Australia where I am. And um, my voice sounds a bit weird, but anyway. <laughs> Um, so welcome along. It's eight o'clock now, so that's what time we get started on our Disciplined Approach 7-Day Challenge. This is day three, so if you've only just joined us, don't worry. You can either just continue from day three um, through with us or else um, go back to um, day one video. So they're on my Facebook profile, but I'm also saving them in the one post um, on my blog, fleurallen.com, which should be the very first um, blog post at the moment. So each day I'm just adding the new video to, so you can find it all in one place. Um, and this is also a seven day challenge. You can do it any time for any area of um, any aspect of your life. So this seven day challenge, I've chosen health. Um, and what I want to talk about today is I want you to just notice today um, when it's working and when you're in flow and it doesn't seem to be that hard. Um, likewise, um, when it's challenging. So yesterday I actually had quite a challenging day overnight. My focus is health and I ended up being quite ill overnight. Not sure why, might have been something I ate. Um, who knows what it was, but it wasn't very pleasant. Um, so it really was challenging me going, oh, hang on, this is my focus, is health and it's all falling apart. So it was interesting to hear um, how I was speaking and talking to myself. So what I want you to pay attention to is observe yourself and observe when things are going right for the challenge and be uh, try and be kind with yourself not too hard on yourself when it's going wrong so I can tell you midnight last night I was like woe is me just a little bit <laughs> but you know I um, continued to sleep thank goodness and I feel a lot better I'm not I'm probably 95 percent this morning um, but you know that's okay so I, this was what I wanted to talk about anyway. Um, it just so happened that I myself experienced a challenge <laughs> overnight. Um, so there is a plan um, throughout this um, seven day challenge. So I'm just gonna look at my notes just to make sure um, that I am actually saying what I intended to say. Um, and if anyone's got any questions, if anyone wants to share the area they're focusing on um, and things like that. Um, we've also suggested to do a reward now, I know a lot of people are doing a daily reward, but it's also important to have a reward at the end of the seven days as well. Um, so that's fine if you've got a little reward happening every day, um, but just make sure you're acknowledging it um, with a, uh, some kind of reward after the seven days. Um, so I've got here for day three, um, just to observe your success. So what I'm talking about when you're in flow with your disciplined approach um, throughout the day. Um, and also, um, I, the, and just observe when you're straying, when you feel like it's not working or something um, comes up in life or the day that challenges you to stay on track with your disciplined approach um, focus area. But what I want you to, um, the affirmation I want you to use today is from Louise Hay, it's not mine, um, is, to, is to say to yourself many times today, I love and approve of myself. So that's when you're in flow or that's when you may be straying from your challenge. Just remind yourself not to be too hard on yourself. And the affirmation for today is I love and approve of myself. So that's from Louise Hay. She also suggests to look in the mirror to say that to yourself over and over. But just make that mantra, that affirmation today. And whether you use it in a meditation 
whether you just have it top of mind and you say to yourself like you're waiting in traffic in the car some people use tapping um, the emotional freedom technique um, whatever works for you because we're all different so you do do these things in a way that's meaningful for you it's just like the rewards um, a re reward going out for a cup of coffee or a cup of tea is means something different to someone else who's rewarding themselves perhaps with some time to themselves or whatever it might be so just think about how you feel um, when you say that affirmation to yourself I love and approve of myself and day three of this um, seven day disciplined approach challenge is for you to just be mindful and observe um, how you're how you're going through the day on your disciplined approach towards your area of focus so for myself um, my area of focus for this challenge is health but you can do this challenge as many times as uh, as you like but I do recommend focusing on one specific area so we've got a, quite a number of people joining us this morning, which is great. Um, so for some it's a Monday morning, for some it's a Sunday night. So wherever you are on the globe, it doesn't matter, you can still do this. So what I want you to share um, today is because we've also got prizes, a prize up for grabs for those who are participating co um, consistently through the challenge, is I want you to share um, what's working or when you felt in flow or perhaps when you felt challenged and what you did to remind yourself. Um, and even just as simple as, you know, sharing how you feel when you say that affirmation to yourself from Louise Hay of, I love love and approve of myself. I know on some days I'm not really feeling in flow with that, but other days it's really easy. So, you know, if you've done it before and it was hard or easy, it would probably be different today. So that's the what you need to work on um, today for day three of the challenge. So feel free to share in these comments or the comments on my blog post on my blog, fleurallen.com. And each day I'm just highlighting one aspect of this prize up for grabs, which is a value of $3,000. I'm just looking over at my whiteboard because I've written it all out. Just excuse me for a second. Um, so yes, what's included is a visualization process I use with um, my mentoring clients and it's a recorded video. I take you through this visualization and I include that in this $3,000 prize. So, and it works. I mean, some of these strategies are so simple, but they're really, really powerful. Um, so that's included in the prize up for grabs, but I know a lot of people aren't on this challenge for the potential of a prize. They're, they're here because they actually want want to just join in the challenge and, and um, improve this particular aspect of their life. So I, I was challenged myself, my health was, you know, I felt like the wheels were falling off a little bit, but we're back on track again. And that's what it's all about, this seven day challenge, is to go through and experience um, how you go with um, making daily improvements, because the disciplined approach is all about how you practice those daily habits, practices, rituals to take you closer to whatever your goals, dreams and aspirations are. So there's a whole bunch of you online, so thanks for joining. Um, if you've got any comments, please feel free. Um, so today again is a, a fairly quick um, video um, because the majority of what needed to be explained was on day one. So if you've just joined us, um, that's great. And if you want to continue from day three and then you continue around to day two, um, fine, or go back to day one um, video, which is on my blog, fleurallen.com. So thanks for joining me, and I look forward to hearing the comments. We had a, quite a lot of activity and comments yesterday um, on um, the comments of the live video, so that's great. Lots of people doing some really cool things. Um, so I look forward to hearing how you're going today, observing um, how you're feeling, and also how you're going with the affirmation I love and approve of myself so if no one's got anyone anything they want to share or any questions have a fabulous day and I'll see you back here for day four um, so tomorrow yes the next three days that's right I've got to change the time um, somewhat
what um, because I'll be in a car driving at 8 o'clock so I don't want to be doing this <laughs> while I'm driving a car so it may be 4 o'clock in the afternoon but I'll confirm that today um, both on the, the blog and here so I'll confirm that so I'll see you sometime tomorrow <laughs> um, but it'll definitely happen so for day four so have an awesome day and be kind to yourself